is pulse deficit. Pulse deficit means deficiency of the pulse. Deficiency of the pulse. So, what does this mean? Uh, this means pulse deficiency means heart rate minus pulse rate is positive. Normally, it is zero. Normally, it is zero. So, in the uh, previous class, uh, some of you have asked ki what is heart rate, what is pulse rate, what is the difference between a heart rate and a pulse rate. So, there is a difference. There is a difference. What is the meaning of the heart rate? Heart rate means ventricle contraction rate. So, heart rate is ventricle contraction rate. Uh, is pulse volume and amplitude same? No. Uh, pul uh, same means ki, uh, the pulse uh, uh, amplitude will be determined by blood volume. It will be determined by the blood volume. So, we can't say ki pulse volume. Pulse volume is pulse pressure. Remember, pulse volume is equal to pulse pressure. Now, this is a heart rate is a ventricle contraction rate. Ventricle contraction rate. And pulse rate is arterial pulsation rate. Arterial pulsation rate. So there is a difference. There is a difference. Normally, in a healthy individual, uh, whenever ventricle contract, adequate stroke volume is released. And that adequate good volume stroke volume is felt in the form of arterial pulsation. So, whatever is the heart rate is a pulse rate. In a normal individual, therefore, the normal is zero. But uh, there are some conditions when there is a difference. Difference is heart is contracting. Now, listen carefully. Heart is contracting, but during that contraction, pulse is not felt. During that particular cardiac uh, contraction. Ventricle contraction, pulse will not be felt occasionally. So, what will happen? Heart rate will be more than the pulse rate in one minute. So, that means the ventricle sometime occasional ventricle contraction does not translate into pulse. So, why they does not translate into the pulse? Because sometime the stroke volume is so low that it is not felt in the form of a pulse. So, why the stroke volume will be less occasionally? Because ventricle does not get a proper time for blood filling. Ventricle contract very fast. So, when the ventricle does not get a time for adequate blood filling and when it contract, the stroke volume will be so low that it will not be uh, translated into the pulse. So, this is the meaning of a pulse deficit. So, what are the causes of this pulse deficit? So, the causes of the pulse deficit are Number one, atrial fibrillation. With irregular heart rate. Irregular heart rate. So, irregular heart rate means, so, uh, suppose uh, this is the ECG diagram of atrial fibrillation. Just four, four, four cycles. Now the pulse. Here, when the ventricle uh, depolarize, will get a pulse. Will get a pulse. While the next one, uh, this is a ventricle filling time is adequate. So when this uh, ventricle depolarize, we get a pulse. But now look here, the third one, the third ventricle contraction occur very fast. The third ventricle contraction occur very fast, so fast that the time for ventricle filling was very, very less. And if the time for ventricle filling is very less, ventricle will contract. 
but with a very very low stroke volume that it is not translated into the pulse so for that no uh, stroke volume is very low and so low that pulse will not be felt here during this time no pulse will be felt it does not translate into the pulse because it get a very less time for blood filling now the uh, next one uh, there will be adequate time for blood filling the pulse will be there pulse will be there so you can see during this time period uh, four time ventricle has contracted but only three pulses are felt in the periphery so this is the meaning of a pulse deficiency this is the meaning of a pulse deficiency seen in atrial fibrillation with irregular heart rate so this occur occasionally in between in between some ventricle contraction does not translate into the uh, pulse now the question is to you tell me any other cause where you might find a pulse deficiency so second cause identify the second cause anyone yes any other cause that you can think of that a ventricle get a very less time to fill with the blood and when it contract the stroke volume will be very low mitral stenosis no burgess disease no no it is occasional in between so that is a condition of a premature ventricle contraction so premature that it was not able to fill with the adequate blood volume adequate blood volume and uh, the uh, stroke volume will be very very less yeah very premature remember it should be a very very premature contraction very very premature contraction all right so next one number 2 miscellaneous abnormality so uh, this uh, pulse deficit so where should you mention the pulse deficit uh, when uh, you have been given a case of a uh, atrial fibrillation when you are given a case of a uh, atrial fibrillation then you will get a, a pulse deficit here so how to assess the pulse deficit a practical point a practical point so this will occur why can't it happen in shock stroke volume is less there too stroke volume is less but still the pulse amplitude will be felt pulse amplitude will be felt so this occur when ventricle get very very less time to fill with the blood very very less time to fill with the blood what are hemorrhage pulse is pulse deficit no water hemorrhage pulse is totally different totally different now how will you assess a pulse deficit clinically in the patient so listen carefully these are the practical point if a case of atrial fibrillation is given to you in the final year so this uh, pulse deficit you have to tell to the examiner how you will assess the pulse deficit it needs two examiner it needs two examiners one examiner will count the pulse rate for 1 minute and during the same 1 minute remember during the same 1 minute the other examiner will count the heart rate by putting the stethoscope on the heart so simultaneously for 1 minute and then the difference will be noted down difference will be noted down so uh, the uh, heart rate stethoscope will be put on the uh, heart it will be counted and the other examiner will be counting the pulse and remember more experienced examiner like your senior resident will be counting the pulse remember 
to count the pulse more senior individual is required more experienced individual is required and you will uh, auscultate the heart and count the heart rate so this is the best method to do the pulse deficit two examiners will be required for pulse deficit now come to number